feel so strange. After 17 months, I'm actually going away for a few days. I'm off to Isarche to film the old town for you, and I'll be staying with my friend Sarah. Here we are in the foyer of Sarah's house. I've just arrived. So uh, let me take you upstairs to the apartment. Sarah lives downstairs, but uh, she lets out the two apartments upstairs. This is the larger apartment, which I rented way back in December 2019 for the Christmas period. Now you enter in the kitchen fully equipped
and it also has a wonderful view. Let me show you. A view of her neighbor Noel's 15th century Chateau Pontier. Now that's where the Royal Officer of Justice and representative of King Louis XV lived. However, in 1815, Raymond Pontier moved in. Now he was the surgeon in Usage, previously a major in Napoleon's army. And there behind the chateau, you get a glimpse of some more turrets, which we will explore in the next episode. Right, let me take you through to uh, the guest bedroom. Very interesting room because uh, while they were renovating, they actually discovered a very, very old mural and it was kept. You can see it's the mural of a peasant knight probably not from the actual era of when the house was built. Now, when you look at his shoes, they seem to be from the 13th or the 14th century. This room is equipped with uh, two single beds. And there are also double doors leading to the kitchen. Okay, so let's move on to the lounge. A very spacious lounge uh, with a slightly sloping floor. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend more than two glasses of wine. But uh, you also have a great view from the lounge. It overlooks the river running through Isarche. And there you can see it, La Vézère. And you can see right there on top of the hill through to the other side of Isarche. And next week we will explore more of the rich history of this town. Right, and then you have the bathroom. <laughs> if only these floorboards could talk. Okay, and then the last room I want to show you is the actual main bedroom. Right, and then back to the kitchen, uh, because I think Sarah is waiting downstairs. We have to go to the bio, the organic shop. To shop for tonight's dinner.
So the quiche is ready and because the weather is great, we decided to eat outside on one of the terraces. But down there, you can see the actual front gate on the lower street level. And then of course the Chateau Pontier. There's also a little vegetable garden, a potager. Okay, <laughs> but now I think it's time for sampling some organic wine. Okay, Sarah, if you could just tell us, give us a bit of background on, on this building that you're in, uh, the history of the house, etc. Well, the house itself dates back to the 17th century and the mayor, who's one of my neighbours, said it's a very important house. It's actually an annex to the Hotel de Seneschal, which isn't a hotel, it's the Courts of Justice which I'm attached to. Oh. So I think it was a service house for the Hotel de Seneschal, which again was built when Louis XV decided to relocate half his court down here in Usage. Okay. And um, when did you buy? Five years ago, when, uh, when we had the Brexit referendum, so 2016. Well, it's one of the top 100 Bodhi tours de France. And um, it's, of course, a strategic crossroads. It's been occupied since the Gauls because it's defensive. It's in the uh, meander of a river, okay. uh, which is why it was chosen. So it's uh, very accessible for the main north, south, east, west right. routes. And it has been for many, many millennia. Right. And tell me the, the castle next to you. Is there somebody living there? Yes, there is. That is the Chateau Pontier. It's uh, seven floors and 38 rooms. Yo. And uh, she's part of living history. She's a cousin of the mayor. She used to be a maths teacher here, uh, but it's obviously, you know, one of the main buildings in, you know, the picture postcard view of the, right. of the town. Yes. And um, she is living there on her own? She lives there on her own with uh, two dogs. And um, like most of us in these bigger places, I mean, her place is, is huge, you know, compared yes. to mine. Uh, you tend to occupy an apartment. Right. And um, n not in every room all the time because these buildings are just too big. <laughs> 